Happy Saturday. You know, usually when I do these, these uh, Saturday things, I usually start on Saturday morning. But today, I had a bunch of stuff going on in the morning. Um, and we had a big storm come through and that's the uh, remnants of or what happened when Hurricane Laura came in through here. Um, it's not a hurricane by the time it makes it to Missouri because we're in middle America, but it hit down in Louisiana pretty hard. And so this morning that hit us pretty hard. When that blew through, I decided to go for a drive. And then when I got home and the rain had stopped, I decided I would get some uh, we're working on some gardening stuff in the front of the house, some landscaping. And I decided to get that done because we're supposed to get more rain this afternoon sometime, or this evening. Um, so I've done a heck of a lot more today than I normally do before I sit down to record. And um, so my energy is lower than usual. This was week 35 of 2020. This week started with August 23rd, which is my dad's 70th birthday. I, I really wish that we had been able to go up and visit this summer um, with all the stuff going on with COVID and with all the other stuff we've had to, to work on. It just hasn't been able to come together. We're still hoping for at some point to be able to go up there but I hope my dad had a great 70th birthday. I just realized that I don't have a word for the week this week. Do I even have anything on backup to use for word for the week? Man, maybe I should use a word from... No, I already talked about some words from when I was a teenager. So, I need help from you. If you can give me a word that your teenagers this right now or if you are a teenager a word that you don't think us adults know or should know or if you think we should never use that word because that's a teenage word that's the kind of word i need from you so help me out i need more word of the week monday was brian and ben's first day of school technically they go to school now remotely Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, I think. And then Thursday and Friday, they're in class. So they didn't have an actual first day of in class until Thursday. Ben was done on Monday with his schooling by 1030. And he came downstairs while I was working to let me know that he had finished with everything and he was his day was done. And um, I let him know that I was jealous. Also on Monday, I think it was Monday, friends of ours, they're moving to Alabama and we, I went over there to their house where he was help, he was finishing up getting everything packed up. I brought my 360 camera, this camera right here. I brought that and we walked around inside their house and I connected microphones up to it and things like that so that we could walk around and he could just have a little memento of the house and talk a little bit about memories of things that had happened. They'd lived there for 14 years. They had no kids before they lived there, so both of them were born in that house. And it was just, it was really, it was, it was neat. I love being able to do that for people any chance I get, especially when I'm able to give them the video, both in a formatted, you know, over capture format, and I'm also able to give it to them in a format where they can view it in VR in 360. So 10, 20 years from now, when they look at that, they'll be able to put on a VR headset. Of course, this will be low quality VR in 10, 20 years, because VR, I'm sure, is only gonna get better. But they'll be able to put on a headset and then look all the way around the room and where they are and remember the house that they used to live in. So that'll be helpful. It'll also be helpful to, to show the boys. Their, their two boys are, I wanna say they're both under 10. Yeah, I think they're both under 10. And so they won't have very vivid memories, you know, especially 10, 20 years from now. So they'll be able to kind of relive the house that they used to live in. That'll be neat for them. Tuesday, 
Tuesday, we had a really busy, I had a really busy work day. The boys had busy school work. It wasn't the first day of school anymore, so they had some actual work to do. They got all that done, and then in the evening, I got a chance to help my friend Paul. He is in the National Guard, and he's doing some classes. They're doing all their classes remotely these days because of COVID. And in one of his assignments in his class was he had to make a video, a training video of himself training a group on a particular topic. So we were able to go out into the park and get all that set up on a table and, you know, was able to use this same gear that I used for these vlogs to help him with that and help his training video, you know, look and communicate very well. At least we hope. Um, it seemed to turn out pretty easy and uh, pretty well, and it was one of the easiest things that I've ever done. So, um, that's, was it really the easiest? It's only easy because I've been doing this now for three, four years, and I've learned a lot, and so I know how to set up what I need to set up. And Paul made it really easy too, because he had, he had figured out all that he wanted to do for a setting and for, you know, I didn't have to help him figure out how to set up what he wanted to do. I just had to point the camera, turn it on, do some minor editing for him, and then it was done. On Wednesday, my manager, who lives down in Houston, Texas, was talking about having to get all the preparations ready for Hurricane Laura that was coming in. I don't know if they knew that it wasn't really going to hit Houston very strong because it, it came in and it like made a turn. It came into the Gulf and then made a turn back toward Louisiana. So it Louisiana got hit pretty hard. There's some areas in there they say they haven't been hit that hard in 150 years. So so yeah, it's it's um there's a lot a lot down there and I'll get into that a little bit more when we talk about uh, last night the news that we found out. Uh, Friday night. On Wednesday also, Brian came into my office and told me, the boys all like to tell me about the video games that they're playing, even though most of the time I'm not really all that interested because I don't have a lot of time for video games. I would love to play them, but I don't have a lot of time. He came in to tell me that they had just put out the preview or pre-release or pre-order or something um, for Call of Duty Cold War. And I was interested because Cold War was happening during my teenage years. So when I watched the trailer with him, it had, you know, music from my teenage years. They were playing Blue Monday by uh, New Order, I think it was. A very popular song that came out in 1983 and then again in 88. So there was music in there that I, that I liked. And then there was just history about the Cold War. So will I be interested in playing the game with them? Probably a little bit of the campaign, maybe. I hear Call of Duty is probably a little rougher than I really want to play, but I'll probably give it a try for a little bit. Brian wanted to have this as an early birthday present very, well, not very early, I guess his birthday's in two months. So he wanted this as an early birthday present, so we pre-ordered the game for him so that he'll be able to do the, the beta content and something else that he gets to be involved in um, for pre-ordering. On Thursday, no, yes, yes, on Thursday, Hurricane Laura made landfall early Thursday morning in the Gulf of Mexico and swept up through Louisiana. And even by then, it was causing the weather in our area to be really overcast and cloudy. And it's been spotty, but mostly overcast and cloudy uh, since then. We got a little bit of sun and, and heat yesterday, but it was really humid, like almost Houston humid. So I was expecting with as cloudy as it was getting, we were probably going to get some storms then, but it, we got a little drizzle and then it stopped. Also on Thursday, I was talking with my friend Cody. He's the friend of mine that I had on the vlog last week. He's 20 years younger than me. He's really into EDM. He's a school teacher. Um, he loves EDM and electronic dance music. So we've been working together. I might have mentioned this before. We've been working together on a playlist of music on Spotify. That's a mixture. It's some of it's just just straight EDM, or it might even be it's some sort of harder type of EDM. I think they it it's more driving um, higher energy. We we named our playlist High Octane because. 
our goal was to find things that were kind of crossovers between my teenage years music, the dance music of the 80s, and the dance music of today, and put them into a playlist that would be largely instrumental so that I could use it for my work when, especially in the afternoons of my work, when you kind of hit that afternoon lull, I use this playlist to kind of just pep me up and so I don't, so I'm not drinking a bunch of coffee in the afternoon but the energy of the music helps me to focus and be more productive. So that's been working really well. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been a way for Cody and I to sort of bridge the gap of the, you know, the dance music of my teens and the dance music of his now 20s. I guess it's dance music of my teens and 20s. Although by the time you get into the 90s, that was not as interesting as the 80s dance music. Friday, it was hotter and humid and we got a little bit of sunshine, but it got really warm and sticky and, and we had some friends over and we had dinner with them. And then we hung out on the back porch and even after the sun went down, it was still just a little too warm, but we were enjoying being outside on the back porch. And it's one of our favorite places to hang out in this house. Maybe I'll find some ways to get some, some good... Nighttime pictures are hard to do and do well. So maybe I'll use like uh, the 360 camera has HDR capability, high dynamic range. So maybe I'll be able to get some sort of, of uh, a capture of that ambiance because it's just so nice to sit out there in the dark. We've got these, you know, the outdoor candles, the bug candles that are like citronella or the, you know, they, they're like a tiki torch, but they sit on your table. And so I'll, I'll experiment with seeing if I can capture some of that sort of feel of that. So in Louisiana, I was saying they had all that storm damage that from the hurricane, Hurricane Laura that went through there. And our son, Zachary, he works for a tree service. And he had mentioned a while back that if there, they ever had any storm work that came up, he would like to go with the storm work team, which means that he would be going somewhere around the country because most of the work that he does is local. It's right here in the local area, you know, or surrounding communities. But this storm work, if it were ever to have come up, and now it has, he would want, he wanted to volunteer for that team. And of course, you know, he's 18 years old, but lives with us. And we're like, well, you do what you want to do. You're an adult. And if you've got work that you need to go do, you need to go do it. So he got the call on that last night at the last minute that he is heading down to Louisiana with a team of, I think it's five or six guys that he works with. And they're all going down there for an entire month of work. So, um, you know, that was, you could see the mama side of Jill when she heard that. She went, hmm, whole month, huh? You know, and, and she, she just cares about him. She, you know, but she also wants him to be a growing up adult man. And so it's, it's challenging to navigate those things when your kids are getting older, and especially when your firstborn is is an adult for the first, I mean, it's the first adult child you've ever had. It's, nobody knows how to deal with that. Nobody knows how best to, to navigate going through those times. We just, we just do our best to love on our kids and, and uh, help them as much as we can. So that brings us up to today, Saturday. And we had those strong storms this morning. Uh, Zach was already gone by the time those storms came in. He left with his, his team at 2 a.m. So um, I said my goodbyes before he went to sleep. Jill apparently woke up right when he was leaving, so she got a chance to hug him and, and, and wish him the best for his work time down there. Like I said, I just drove around town today and, you know, I'm, I'm exploring some, from a curiosity perspective, I'm exploring some ideas on how to do some 360 uh, VR type of tours and things. I mean, I, I don't really want to call them a VR tour, you know, but I'd like to do maybe some museums that we have around town. A lot of Route 66 stuff, but, you know, being that we're the birthplace of Route 66. We've got some classic car things around here. We've got, uh, I think we have a railway museum of some sort nearby. And then, of course, just 45 minutes south of us, we have all of the Branson area. Although I imagine as much of a tourist place that that is, it's probably 
already there's probably already a lot of virtual tour type stuff available but who knows maybe i can go down there and just do some amateur virtual tour type things and share those bits and pieces here on this vlog maybe have a separate maybe put those on my honoring legacies channel for those of you who don't know i have two channels this one the average joe channel and then the honoring legacies one is where i started with things having to do with interviews of uh, how do i want to put them the honoring legacies channel is a channel where i have focused on what started with interviewing my grandfather with his life story and then moving on to various other things that were related to wanting to capture legacy, to share that and, and preserve that for future generations. And for our, our ourselves, you know, hopefully we're all going to live at least another couple more decades. Well, a couple more? No. I, I, I would like to live into my 90s. That would be nice. As long as I can be creative in some way, shape or form, I'd, I'd like to do that. You know, in those days and, and when we have grandkids or great grandkids, these videos from back here are going to be really cool. They're going to be fun to see a glimpse of what it was like back way back in 2020. So that is it for week 35 of 2020. We'll see you next week.